creating a workout routine, setting a fitness goal and tracking progress. Now, if I'm looking for a muscle gain, then at least I'm going to set three or four months of resistance training. If my goal is to gain muscle, then I'm going to set three or four months of resistance training. If my goal is to lose weight, guess what? It's going to be the same. Resistance training is the best thing to gain muscle and lose fat depending on your caloric goal. How you lose fat or gain muscle would be at this point by the amount of calories and protein intake you have and the carbohydrate manipulation you have in your diet. That way you'll be able to lose fat. But the main idea majorly to lose fat or gain muscle is to have and set up a resistance training exercise. Now, setting up your goal would be, I would put three to four months as your goal. Monitoring your progress every single week, which what we do in our personal coaching program, where we have personal calls every week, we'll see development and we'll have open text between us and a person who's interested in noticing whatever they want to eat or they're out, they want to ask the, the, the coach, what, what, what am I supposed to eat now? I'm at a restaurant with friends. I'm, a, I'm at a place where I, I had no idea or I don't have the experience knowledge or knowledge to know what is the best thing for my macros or my goals at this point. Just shoot me a text, I'll be right there. So providing that good workout plan and routine of I personally prefer working out each muscle group that would require four to five to six. I personally work seven days, work out seven days a week. Now, if this is not approachable, which I actually, one thing we actually say, guys, if you cannot even go to the gym, you don't have the time for it. You can do burpees, you can do push-ups, something to get, to get you out of breath, something to get you in the zone. So other than working out every day, setting up your fitness goal has to be aligning three or four months, having a workout, detailed workout plan, and a detailed nutrition plan with your macros. Tracking your progress would be on a weekly, bi-weekly basis. So if you're gaining muscle, look in the mirror. I always say, disregard the scale, look in the mirror. That's the best way you can notice that if you're gaining anything. And do not be impatient with your muscle gain or weight loss. Remember, nothing is immediate with this approach. Got to have, got to stay consistent and you're going to find the accumulative effect of muscle gain or weight loss happening to you. The mirror don't lie. Don't rely on a scale. Look in the mirror. That's how you'll be able to drop a lot of body fat percentage this way. Not by how much you weigh, but by how you look. Designing a balanced workout program. Now, if you have no idea about fitness, we're going to put a simple workout program that is for everyone. You can take it to lose weight. You can take it to gain muscle. It's going to be in the resources. Having a workout program is essential because you'll be able to track how much weight you can push more, how much better you're getting at working out, how much your body is actually adjusting quite as fast if you're consistent with your working out. So having a good workout program for building muscle or losing weight will be around at least minimum 30 sets. Doing shoulders, and if you're doing split, it's going to be a, from 40 to 50 sets because you're working out three or four times a week. And the days you're not working out, you're warming up at the beginning or taking a hot shower. You're trying to do like easy manipulation of like shoulder, shoulder rolls and stuff like that. So your shoulders are warmed up and then you can go for burpees or push-ups and keep that body flowing and keep that alignment and endorphins happening to you every single day. Having a good workout program, I already know what I'm going to go to the gym, how much I'm going to work out or what I'm going to work out to the detailed plan to actually to the workout. I know I'm going to finish this, go to this, go to this. But again, I've been training for two decades and I'm an expert at this. So for you to just have a planned detailed workout program, we're going to put a resource in there 
take it, work with it, do what you can with this, because this is something that I want to help you guys with, that in order for you to be your best, you have to have everything dialed in and complete workout program going to be amazing for you from these resources. Try to push yourself to the best, try to do the best of your ability to actually go to the gym as much as you can, preferably every day. You don't have to do not annihilate, just activate. When you go to workout, do not try to do, go to failure. I'm not a fan of that. Try to go where you can actually go do more volume workout, my favorite workouts, and that will be the best to keep supplying blood, amino acids, protein, all that stuff that you take, your body's actually like a machine, absorbing it from a volume workout with a resistance exercise. Now, incorporating different variety. Now, if, if you're doing resistance training it's amazing because that will be enough it was enough for me and it's enough for a lot of people but if you're doing a split where you're not able to work out every day then you would actually be beneficial for you to do the split training of pull-ups push-ups earth like body squats you know 20 to 100 when you're doing push-ups and put and stuff and, and and like the stuff that you're doing at home you're not going to the gym that day Try to go for 100, 200, 300 a day, doing it in a sets of 10, 20, 30, and just count it. And it's amazing because doing that is going to be like even 10 push-ups in your break, 10 push-ups in the middle of work, you know, 10 push-ups. That will actually supply and, get, and keep the heart rate and the endorphins rushing. Try to understand that you need to incorporate working out, sprinting exercise, as much like three or four times a week with the strength workout and try to elevate your workout program to it actually you're doing better than every time you don't have to incorporate a lot but you have to at least try to do better at any kind of workout when you are dialed in in the program take it easy keep it consistent guys and let's see the wins in the comments i'll see you guys in there